Welcome to this week's vlog post. For today, what I wanted to share with you was Mystique's first time doing a demonstration, which was at the Can-Am Equine Expo. And this was actually only her second time ever going off property. And here you can see Franny's working with her with a tarp, and she's doing a super fantastic job. And she hadn't really done any work with a tarp prior to going to Can-Am. So I'm very, very proud of her, of how calm she is, how relaxed she is. She is my horse that I'm training for the Thoroughbred Makeover, hoping to go to the 2016 competition, which will be in October in Kentucky. And she was a racehorse just last year, and I picked her up in um, November. She started work with me, a little bit of groundwork, and has probably done around 20 sessions or so at this point in her training. And you can see I'm over there with Khaleesi, or you may know her as Soar, on the right-hand side there. So I'm just going to show you some highlights of Mystique at the show, and you'll get a few learning tips along the way too. So hang in there and enjoy. One of the first exercises I like to do with my horses is getting them to follow my energy. Yeah. Being able to follow when I pick my energy up, that we can go forward. When I bring my energy down, that we can stop. And trying to show my horse that following my energy matters. The approach that I like to take with my horses is kind of a, a carrot and a stick approach. If you will. I like to be patient and persistent with my horses until I get the I want, and when I do, I offer them to have And in the beginning, I use a lot more cookies than I do towards the end, and that's just because I need to get her really interested in thinking, hey, this is different, there's something in it for me. And I'm a firm believer that horses need paychecks. They don't show up to learn just because I've got a really pretty face, and I'm very bored. No. There needs to be something in it for her. So I need to do exercises that she's going to enjoy, and I like to do treats with my horses. But treats don't work with all horses. So a reward could be giving them a nice good scratch. It could be doing something fun with them. It could be any of these number of things. So this particular horse is a busy horse, so I have to progress really fast with her. Otherwise, she's just going to get really bored with me. So let me show you a few little things of how I install this foundation on my horses. And communication focus. Anytime I put pressure on my horse, it's because there's a hand. There's something that she can do, right? So if she did something I didn't want her to do, I'm not going to go, I'm going to tell my horse to do that. Exactly, because I don't want to use punishment on my horse. And the bird's really bad. So she has zero fear. They don't react to that because she knows she can trust me enough to use that with her. So then I have confidence with her to do a whole bunch of other things. So anytime I try to push her, it's an answer. So for example, if I'm asking her to move over sideways, there's pressure here. The answer is go over there, and then I guess I'll search and I get a report. Okay? So calm, calm, communication. 